All right, so there's the pulley going back on. It was a little hard to press. I was getting a little worried I was gonna mess something up, but it, it's going on all right. Um, and again, don't forget this bolt that needs to go in there. I think it's only in the 228s, but that's gotta be on there first, otherwise you'll never get it in there. Um, it's not sticking, all right? You can see it's still nice and smooth. All the pressure's just on the shaft itself. I think it's there. Um, they give you a dimension that's supposed to be from, I think it's from here to here, or maybe it's the front front of the pulley to here. It's like four inches and nine thirty seconds or something. So I'm just gonna give it a little more. And I don't know how critical that dimension is. I mean, I'm just gonna put it on until it's, you know, all the way down. But I think we're good here. All right, there we go. All back together. That's just the that bolt rubbing. Nice smooth operation, no more wiggle in the bearing. Hopefully there's no issues with that little broken piece of the plastic tab that came off in the other video. Got my nice new back plate bolts in that came with the rebuild kit. The first videos you may remember, these things were a beast to get out. I actually had to drill them out because um, they were just completely frozen in there. Uh, so then all it's left to do is, oops, it's that way. Once the uh, engine's ready, bolt this thing up to the block. It'll be good to go. That concludes rebuilding the water pump. Wasn't too bad. Good luck if any of you are trying it. Thank you.